At 39 feet long, 8,800 pounds, this Mallard M335 is a mid-level to high-end RV that I think you and the family are absolutely gonna love. Wait until you see this four sleeping beauty right here. This Allure furniture is not only alluring, it's extremely comfortable. And you're gonna notice that in this brand new 2021 Heartland Mallard M335, it's all over the place. What's up, it's Chris Young. Now on the front end, I said this one can sleep four people. It's a four sleeping beauty. But depending on the configuration, that's the great thing about Camping World, Gander, RV and Outdoors, you can get like this here, this love seat that does pull out into a sleeper and wait to see how that works it's actually really cool uh you got the recliners over there you got the freestanding dinette you can also get the booth dinette jackknife sofa whatever you want there are different ways that you can customize to make your rv fit your lifestyle and needs so if you say chris i love this m335 but i actually want a booth dinette i need to sleep more than four people our folks can help you with that. That's what's great. We even have a design center now that you can get Allure furniture, put in anything you want. But that's a story for a different time. Right now, we are in the beautiful 80 inch barreled ceilings that we have here with this laminated roof that is vacuum bonded that has four inches of foam core insulation in it. Plus we got two inches of foam core insulation on the side walls, really helping us keep the temperature where we want it inside of our Heartland Mallard M335. And I'll get to some of those specs a little bit later. But let's start right here in the rear, dominated by a beautiful set of faux leather covered wood balances with the dark on the light, the blackout shades, and tons of storage. Storage is something with this unit, especially for 2021, that Heartland has done with all the Mallards. They've upgraded the storage capacities. Now with the barrel style ceilings, you do get a little bit higher clearance inside your storage here. And I like the additional frosted uh, glass that they have here in the decor. You got the matte black or the graphite black fixtures on the pull handles. You got that beautiful light gray, the white walls, just really adding to the beauty and appeal of this RV. Got dual 110s on the sides right above my end tables here. And you'll notice that the end tables have these little compartments underneath. Good spot for additional storage. But when you're ready to you got done reconnecting with the loved ones, or maybe you're just chilling, you're out there, you got the beach behind you, or the mountains beside you, or the river, the lake, whatever, and you say, it's time to put the kids to bed. Check this out. This is what I love about this Heartland Mallard M335. You got the hideaway cushion in the pullout right there. Here, I'm gonna set this out for a second. This is kind of the modified jackknife. That there. Boom, right there. Not only can the cushion be used for multiple purposes, it's a hideaway, but look at the space that you have right there. You got the north to south versus the east to west sleeping area, giving you a little bit more space to sleep. Great spot for the kids or the additional set of adults that decided to come with you or join, or you just wanna have fun. This is your vacation home. Come over here to the off camp side. One of the upgrades that they've done for 2021, they backlit the fascia and I really like that. It not only adds to the appeal of the RV, but it also acts as a nightlight. So it's pretty cool. And they knew that storage <laughs> was something that uh, people were gonna need. And I laugh because you'll see fits up to 55. We actually had them add the little sticker right here. Look here, hidden storage, as if you couldn't tell by the hinge and the lock. But maybe you couldn't. So here, let me show you. Great spot for the good bourbon, the Girl Scout cookies, all the things I wanna hide from Roberts or your components for your entertainment. Cause here's your connection for your cable and your 110. When that's ready to go, just lock it in place. Good shelf space here. There's the light from a backlit fascia. I got my IRB Technologies Command Center right there for my entertainment, which is dual zone Bluetooth plus HDMI. Another little storage box underneath. The Greystone fireplace which I'm a fan of because it's electric. It's got multi flame settings. You got multi light settings. So not only does it add once again to that, if you want to get romantic, 
You're sitting here sipping that adult beverage with the loved one, maybe you're watching TV, you got the fireplace going. It also kicks off pretty good heat. It kicks off about 5,000 BTUs of heat with that little blower. So knock the chill off the air, like I always say, but it does a really good job of that. Um, then you come over here to the campsite, nestled inside this super slide, because we do have opposing slides in this one. I got my Allure recliners. Comfortable, plush, microfiber. People say that recliners are not sleepers. I challenge that in almost every video because when you're camping, you come back, you're usually a little bit tired anyway. You open up these large panoramic windows, get the cross breeze going, especially if you're at the mountains or the lake or the beach. Woo! Chris is out all day. Out. Come over here to the uh, freestanding dinette. This does extend out into uh, giving you more space. We got the four solid chairs there that also match the decorative pattern of this RV. LED residential sconce here. S carpetless slides too. You got the upgraded linoleum flooring. And right here in between the opposing slides, you do have your island kitchen. You got the solid or the oppressed surface countertop here with the molded edges, undermounted large farmhouse style sink. That is a bowl sink. You could fit a lot of stuff in there. Plus you got the high rise faucet with the sprayer, big fan of that. And because Heartland knew that with the Mallards, people were gonna want some upgraded features. They even went with the upgrades of finishing off the wood inside the uh, drawers here. And you'll see that solid wood, full extension on the ball bearing drives. Got them there, got storage underneath the sink. Good spot for the trash can. Got the pantry right here, giving you more space, more drawers there. And then check out my prep slash cook area. Giving me more space here. I got the decorative backsplash, the flush mounted microwave, storage, storage. I mean, come on, man. How much storage do you need in your RV? What you gonna put down there? I don't know. We've already stored everything. Flush mounted three burner cooktop too with the grill style grate. Got the little backlight on the controls and the 16 inch Greystone oven right here. Now right above us, we have the new GE HVAC system put in this. You got a 13.5 BTU air conditioner and a 30,000 BTU furnace on this one. Uh, this does have the quick cool dump on it. So if you get hot, you can just open that up and get that quick cool going. Uh, this is also a 30 amp RV, but it does come with a 55 amp converter on it. So if you do need to hook up to that 50 amp service, you can. Got the solid countertop over here as well. Good space for a coffee station, maybe some decorative plants. 110 GFCI outlet there. Cable connection if you want to put a TV here as well. And there's our GE HVAC command center. I like that. I like how Heartland added the GE system in here. More space up here. More drawers. I mean, there's just room for days. If, if you run out of space inside the Harlem Mallard, you might need to do some purging. Just saying. And last but not least, inside the uh, kitchen, nestled right here beside our pantry door, is our eight cubic foot fridge freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric. And I like these because they added that they didn't have to do this, but they turned it into a little doodle station, which means if you get some chalk, the kids can have fun. You can leave notes on here, you know, gone to the store to get more essentials, whatever. But plenty of space, plenty of room on this gas electric fridge freezer combo that does have the automatic switch. The only thing I did not like about this M335 is this notch right here, which once again has power, has storage, has the mirror. It's decorative, it looks good, but look what happens when I come into the entry point here, which it, you can access the bathroom when the slides are in. But look, this is pretty narrow. It's pretty narrow space. And the perception of it looking down the RV from here just makes it feel like it's not as wide as it usually is. Maybe it's just me, it's just how I feel. Got my controls right here to run my awning out, my slides. Then I got my beautiful decorative door leading into the bathroom, which is a pass-through. Um, I like this because it does give you that separation of space, which is what I'm big on when you're out camping. You want to be able to break away from the family if you need some privacy, or if you're sleeping and other people are out here hanging out, you've got that way where you can use a bathroom, they can use a bathroom, and nobody is disrupting anybody else. Neo angled shower here in the corner with the glass enclosure. Got my nozzle, my controls, and the large skylight right there. Should have some pretty good headroom. And then Bobby shut that door because there's a little storage compartment 
right there. Here, I'm gonna open this up for you. While I close the shower and close the singing and rain, and just singing and, what are you doing? Okay, giving you some privacy there. Large single sink there in the vanity, mirrored medicine cabinet. I'm also big on the raised lips because it does keep your stuff safe and secure. 110 outlet storage there, plastic bowl with the foot flush corner mounted. You're not gonna get cramped left or right. I mean, I, I do like how they corner mount because it does give you a little bit more space. You're just kind of maximizing the space. Then we come into the master. And I want you to look at this. 72 by 80 king size bed. Not only is it a king size bed, it is one of the premium foam top mattresses. Whenever I get a chance to get to our lots at Camping World and Gander, I tell people, when you get your RV, get your own mattress. Because you know, you're gonna be sleeping on it. You want your mattress. But with the Mallard, it's all good, bruh. It's all good. We nestled in a slide right here. I got me a charging port over there with my LED lights. Look at it. I got my little storage shelf right there. That's a good spot because you do not have any nightstand space over here. So having this little shelf to put, you know, my phone, my water, plus I got my USB chargers on both sides. You know, it, it makes it a little bit more functional, still not optimal in my opinion, but functional. More storage up top. You notice I'm not getting up off his bed, right? You see this? You see that? Yeah, Uncle Chris about to go to sleep. I'll tell you right now. I'm just gonna let Bob finish finish this walkthrough by himself. He, he But imagine the crowd, the breeze. Stop it! Imagine, imagine the breeze coming in when you're laying there. I mean, you, it's walk around, it's king size. You got storage underneath. Do we have storage? Yeah, we do. We got storage underneath. I don't know why I can't open it, but you see the hinges there. I'm just not strong enough, Roberts, because I'm not working out anymore. I can put my TV over here if I want to, cable connection, mount it here, 110, storage on both sides. It would have to be a small TV if you wanted to open up the doors right here. Check this out. Foldable door because the entire front cap here is storage and washer dryer prep. Go and get in there, Bobby. It is big enough to fit a bob in. Now, if you run out of space with the new Heartland Mallard M335 with all this storage, not to mention the armoire over here, the little chest of drawers, if you will, with more storage space, my friend, we need to talk about your hoarding tendencies um, because they have really gone overboard with the space, the style, and the luxury on this Heartland Mallard M335. The small walkway is about the only thing I do not like inside this beauty. But we've seen the inside of the all new 2021 Heartland Mallard M335. By the way, it's set up if you wanna put in a second AC, you can right here. What do you say we go take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside of the beautiful Heartland Mallard M335. 39 feet, four inches, roughly 8,800 pounds dry. This one can sleep four, but like I mentioned on the front end, the configuration is gonna be a little bit different. 364 square feet of space on there. 11 feet high, beautiful painted fiberglass end cap with the LED running strips right there. Has that automotive coating on it that is gonna help with the fading. Plus the graphics also glow in the dark. A little mini diamond plate up front, seated on top of that single welded aluminum frame under there, twin 20 pound LP tanks, powered tongue jack with the LED light. And I had mentioned the storage on the inside. Well, Harlan decided to go bananas with the storage on the outside too. You'll see right here from this little spot, up to 67 and a half cubic feet of space on the storage. Now, will every Heartland Mallard have that? No, but some of the larger ones will have up to 67 and a half cubic feet of space. But you'll notice with the King Kong size, wider and taller, plus it's finished off and insulated. Good spot to hang tools. You got the little hideaway cabinet over there on the off camp side, but just a very nice feature. Powered stabilizer jacks right there in the front. Sealed safety glass that's tinted all the way around. Got my external marine grade speakers, large awning with the LED light strip, 26 inch entry door here with the friction hinge, the solid steps leading into the main entry point too. And you'll notice the top step a little bit bigger, safer and pet friendly. Now this 
the Yeti sidewall construction, I had talked about on the inside, you got four inch thick foam core, fully walkable roof on there, two inch thick foam core insulation. That's some of the thickest you know, you're gonna find. Not to mention this one also has the Asdale. Asdale is a graphite composite panel that goes in between the insulation and the walls. And what that does is it replaces the old Luan walls where they would bubble and moisture would get in there and you sometimes get off gassing. You don't have that with Asdale. 110 power right there. Slide here. This was the one that housed those two recliners plus the uh, freestanding dinette. You'll see the tinted window right there in the slide. Just giving you more, you know, cross light right there. Four by four sewer hose storage, spare tire mounted on the back. Backup camera already built in. Plus we got those arch ceilings with the three inch rain nozzles there to make sure the water and the snow don't stay on top of the RV. Cable connection and my 30 amp plug right there. There is the power controls for your rear stabilizer jacks. Got a little storage compartment right here. I like this because it's finished off. It's got that same carpet list that they have in the slide. So this would be good if you need to put your grab and go bag, maybe your wet shoes, you know, whatever. Some of the hunting gear toolboxes. Plus you're gonna have the magnetic anti-slam on all of the doors around this Heartland Mallard M335 covered hinges. And underneath, it's a little bit easier to see on this side, you have a heated and enclosed underbelly with the wide track suspension right here. Those 14 inch aluminum rims, the Dexter Easy Lube Axles nitro filled tires right there, really giving you a safe and smoother ride going down the road. All my terminations are right here. Gray tank, black tank, my low point drains as well. External shower with hot and cold. Plus I got the black tank flush and the city water connection right there. The only thing I found weird, there's no magnet to hold this. So, I mean, I don't know if it's just missing, maybe somebody took it or it's just not there, but another great little storage spot right here. Just storage for days. I mean, do you really need that much storage? What, what are you bringing with you? And can I come along? Fresh water fill right there, power for the stabilizer jacks right there. Other side of the pass through storage right here. Once again, the magnetic anti-slam. But the most important part of any vehicle, any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. As you can see, gross vehicle weight for this one, 9,900 pounds. The dry weight on this one is 8,800 pounds. Plus you got a 45 gallon fresh tank, 40 gallon gray, 40 gallon black on this one as well. And when you throw in the 10 amp solar connection right here, where you can trickle charge your batteries, little 10 amp quick connect, you could go off grid. I mean, you got 40 pounds of LP, you got pretty good sized tanks on there, great space, great amenities, great features, and more storage than you can swing a cat at. So, with that said, I don't know what else I can say. So leave me some comments down below. What'd you like about the Harlem Mallard M335? What'd you not like about it? I don't like that passway right there. I would have liked to see some nightstand space, but it's got a king size bed. I can't argue that. Um, but leave me some comments because I love hearing from you. Plus, we take that information back to the manufacturer. And while you're at it, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young, Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. I'm going to go back inside here and sleep on that king-size bed. I hope to see you soon. Please come check out RV because they're fun. Until then, I'm taking a nap. Bye-bye.